hey, hey, hey guys, happy Sunday. Well, I'm super excited about this stream and I'm not I'm not usually, but so much stuff to cover today. Uh, we already have Lindsay in the chat, so hi there, it's so good to see you. If anyone else is in, if you want to drop us a hi just now. Um, right, so if anyone's getting this on the replay, or just to let you know as you come in what we're up to today, I have got so much stuff to cover, so much inspiration. I have actually, there's certain bits of this that... I've had to hold myself off from posting videos about for like two or three days. It's been pretty exciting. I've had stuff and I'm like, should I stream it? Should I stream it? No, I'll wait till Sunday. My Sunday, guys. Hi, Magdalena. How are you? Good to see you because I know your work's horrific busy at this time of year. I hope you've all got your cup of coffee. My ancient... I'm... I'm... I'm going to have to get some better cups. I've, at the end, we'll talk about some merch. So I'll maybe do... I'll maybe do something there. Anyway, I hope you've all got your cup of coffee. Awesome to see you, Lindsay and Magdalena. So today, what we're going to do, first thing we're going to cover, which um kind of really exciting about, they're supposed to be rolling out the new Eatsy, what's it called, the Eatsy Plus. This is the new subscription thing. They're supposed to be rolling this out on Monday, but obviously they're doing some kind of staggered rollout because I've seen a couple of other people have got it already. And I actually got access to the feature a couple of days ago. I don't think it's because I'm anything special. I think they're just staggering out the rollout so it doesn't just land all on the same day. They said they're going to roll it out on Monday, but I think if they did that and everyone tried to do it on Monday, then the system would crash. So they're staggering it out. Um, so fingers, <laughs> fingers crossed this all works, but I want to dive into this live. This is what I've been waiting for. I think I got access to this on Friday, but I didn't activate it so I've been sitting on this just going like no 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 gotta wait do this in the street so we're going to start up the Etsy Plus live on this stream and you'll get to see how to access it how to set it up and then what the features look like in a first look super excited about that and then right last week I want to thank you guys as well by the way last week I was kind of feeling feeling a bit at a loss for inspiration, a bit at a loss for this channel. It's really weird. Like you see big YouTubers with like six million people going, oh, I feel I need to change direction. But I was kind of feeling like that. It's funny we spoke about burnout on Wednesday, but I didn't even realize, I didn't even realize on Sunday I was kind of suffering from some burnout. But I said, if you guys could give me ideas for stuff you want to see more of and everything, and the ideas you gave me, it was so cool. Um, so basically, that's given me so much inspiration. And Rosani suggested, I love this one so much, to do a boo review, a review of spooky critters and things, which I'm totally planning to do. I was going to do it this week, but something else caught my mind. So we've got another feature that I'll be doing every now and again, and it's going to be a felt inspiration, inspiration from my felt. So this is things, it's not necessarily whoa, speak, not necessarily people from my Facebook groups or anything, it's not necessarily you guys, it's just stuff that I've found on the internet that's given me inspiration, and I've got two such awesome shops, if you saw the thumbnail, not shops, artists, if you saw the thumbnail, you'll know what I mean, and these are just two people that I just looked at it and I was instantly, I want to felt that, so we're going to felt that, so that's the second thing, felt spirations, inspirations for felt. And then I want to talk about this Maker's Fox kit because this is going to be the live thing we're doing a week on Wednesday. But um, I've got the supplies and stuff. You can see the box. There we go, just there. The maker sent me some of the supplies. Now, this isn't the kit that you guys would get if you buy the kit. This is supplies they sent to me. But I just want to go through this so you can see what supplies you need and decide if you if you want these, these things. Um, and then, just as an aside, because some people have said they think they've got the right things or they want to maybe blend their own wool. So we're going to try and live hand card the fibers that we need to make a fox red. So I'm going to want you guys to help me with that. Give me an idea of what colors to put in and we'll try a hand blending live on air. So exciting. And then having a wee look at my new merch stuff. 
it's mainly just for a laugh. Right, just check the chat for now. Uh, Magdalene's Magdalena, sorry, I'm not speaking right today. Just came from a flight and so happy to be with, with us. Oh, thank you, that's so cute. Thank you, that's lovely. And yeah, I'm glad you're home and getting a chance to chill. Uh, Lindsay was busy with housework, so of course you had to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for saving you from housework. Also, that's that's what I should be doing just now as well, but it's it's clearly not what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm here to help us all procrastinate. Just sit, chill. It's a Sunday. We should all be relaxed. Except for me, I'm a little bit buzzing about all of this. So right, first things first, let's do this Etsy shop thing. Uh, that's the right button. So for those of you that don't know, a few weeks ago Etsy announced that they're doing a subscription service and the crowd went wild. Obviously people went into a bit of a riot going, they're going to charge us money for this. But actually when I looked at it, it was, um, it actually sounds like a reasonable deal. So we're going to give it a try. Obviously it's a monthly subscription. If I don't like it, I can back out of it. Now, if you've got onto the early access of this, when you go into your shop manager, in the settings area, there was a wee orange new. Obviously that's gone away because I clicked on it because I was like, what's this new? So in your settings area, it'll say new. So we just click on the settings. This is in your shop manager dashboard. Click on settings and then you'll see right at the top, right at the top, we have your subscriptions. So we're going to click on this. I'm I hope this works. I've never done something like this quite live. So we've got the three different types of your Etsy package. So it's just telling us about it just now. So Etsy standard is what everyone that has a shop is on just now. This is just the basic thing with no, no monthly fee. Etsy Plus is the expanded set of tools. This is what's just been released. Um, so at the minute it is £7, £60, which I think is like about $10 or something, but it will give you the price in your own currency anyway. Um, and it's saying this is this is an introductory price, that's the word I wanted. It's going to increase to £15.10 and pence from January. But just now it's at this $7. So I think this is a good deal for just now. And then in 2019, they're going to do this Etsy Premium. But this just sounds like if your shop is... If you have employees and stuff, this might help. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be much good for us. So just before we upgrade, let's just look at the actual features. So in the plus, as I said, it's £7.60 a month. But we're actually getting benefit. Because I already use promoted listings, the credits, it's crediting us £3.80 pence of promoted listings. So that's taking money off my bill that way. So that that makes that much cheaper already. I can't do the maths this quickly. Um, but And we're also getting 15 listing credits a month. So they're at 20 cents each. So that's saving us another, what, two, 250 or something? Can't do maths, too late in the day. Anyway, but so we've got Maybe about six pounds worth of benefit already. Six pounds worth of actual real money that I'm spending anyway. So it's only a pound or so already. So that's pretty cool. So let's see what features are different. This is what I'm excited that we're going to see. Um, we have more ways to customize the shop. We've got new layout options and things. So people on this plus package are going to have a different looking shop. Um, restock requests. This is again another kind of cool feature if you make more than one of one item but for the moment you've sold out of it you've got to make some more. Customers can click a, a link that lets them get an email when you restock that item. A custom web address. Now this is for a price. There we go. Um, it's given at you at 50% off whatever their price is a year but to be honest what I've looked at, they've partnered with Hover and the price 
there's better places on the internet really so you can probably get it cheaper so I probably won't use that um, they have got discounts on shipping bo boxes only available in some countries I'll look at that we'll see to be honest I get my shipping boxes off of eBay so if they're better than that then I'll go for it but I'm not not excited and then these two are just what they're planning in the future a little video to watch um, Right, so, guys, let's do this. <laughs> right, upgrading. So here it's telling us everything we've got again. It's going to pay me through my Etsy bill each month. Confirm, we've done it. Um, okay, should we take the tour or should we just dive straight in? I think we should take the tour. 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 And yes, I'm back on coffee. Right, take the tour. What's it telling us? We've more ways to customise the shop. Yep, we already knew this. Oh, it's showing us where at the sides. Bring back stockers with reshop. It's a cute wee animation, but they're not really telling us anything more. Promoted listing credits. Hi, Rosani. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, advertise with promoted listing credits. All we've done so far, Rosani, I got access. I got early access to the Etsy Plus, the subscription thing. So I've just this minute activated my subscription. So we're seeing what this is like, um, and then I've got some such cool things coming after this, and discount on packing materials, and the custom web address. Yeah, so cool stuff. But there's only a few of it that I'm excited about, but. So let's have a look. So, how do we? I can't even remember how I changed my banner. Where do you get to your banner here, guys? <laughs> I'm going to click on random things. Good. It, well, yeah, we want uh, what the shop looks like. Info and appearance. Wasn't that what I just clicked on? Uh, yeah, okay, so the banner. No, it doesn't seem to be able to change things here. That's weird. I'll have to learn how to do all this. Um, is it in my dashboard? I should have maybe paid attention to that little graphic. Um, oh, the, yeah, marketing's new because it's given us the chance for extra things. <laughs> Lindsay, you're right, we do have some beautiful named people. It's fantastic. Um, right, so how do I change my the look of my shop? Let's just click through everything, see if there's anything new. So dashboard looks exactly the same as it always did. Listings, can we change it here? This looks exactly as it always was. Anything new in here? Oh, I've got to select a listing first, of course. So we do have edit restock request option, but the rest all looks pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, so listings with restock requests. So I will start working on that in fact okay so let's what did I click on let's unclick this right one item this is a popular item uh, open shop edit button thanks vintage I'll have a look at that um okay so allow restock click that and apply because this one does run out sometimes, it's my most popular thing. So now if I renew this, and of course it's open shop edit button, I'm an idiot. Okay, that's not showing up yet, but it will do. But anyway, so my, I can put this so that if this runs out, then customers can ask. So that's a pretty cool one. Okay, so let's, let's dive in here. Open shop. Or did I want to hit the edit button back there? I'm a dummy.
Vintage loves already Eatsy Plus. <laughs> yeah. Ah, here we go. Yeah, so I've hit hit this little pen edity thing. And it's mainly this that's going to be different. Okay, so change layout. Let's have a look. Yep. So we've got a carousel, collage, big banner or mini banner. Why are you saying none? Of course I've got a banner. Right, let's have a nosy at carousel. So you can show off multiple photographs one at a time and link them to listings or sections. That sounds really cool actually. So you can have a carousel, like if you've got, it looks like maybe four pictures. Um, obviously I'm going to have to edit pictures for that. So it looks like you could have up to four pictures. So if you wanted to show off like four sections in your shop or four best sellers, this even better than your featured listings. You could put these in a carousel that's going to come one at a time across the screen. You can link them to those listings. So if people go, wow, that's amazing, they click on it and it takes them to the bit in, the sh in your shop. That sounds fantastic. Um, or four pictures in a collage. Cool as well, but I'm liking this linking thing. Big banner, obviously, is the big banner or the mini banner. Um, but mine was sitting. I'm just going to hit cancel anyway because I've got to sort out some some pictures and everything. I don't I don't want to be doing all that when you're watching me. But <laughs> that sounds so cool. So the change layout for that just means we can have a nice big banner with. I'm going to have a carousel. That sounds so cool. Yeah. So you've so vintage you've you've already done your your banner and everything and it's it's amazing it sounds amazing i really like the sound of that so i think that's the major big difference with all of this but let's have a look marketing says new yeah custom web address that's just what we're talking about but i really don't think don't think it's going to be particularly awesome um just because hover is not really a, a company that I don't love them or hate them. There's just cheaper and easier out there. So, um, I suppose marketing would as well have. I'm guessing we're not getting the shipping things yet, but they are bringing in more things. I mean, we've got the beta on the Facebook ads. Um, there's there's extra stuff all the time. So it looks like in the UK, if I find it later, I'll leave a comment in the comments below uh, when this is off the live stream. But it looks like in the UK, we're not getting the, the cheaper shipping boxes, but it's not a big deal. I've still got an absolute metric ton of them up in up in my room. But that's a quick a quick look at it all. It should be rolling out to everyone from tomorrow. And at the minute, I'm going to say for my listings and my promoted listings, I'm practically getting all my money back. And I think that carousel is going to be an awesome idea. I just have to pick some awesome pictures. So I will get that done. Let's get back to my my big my big face. Um, right. So for those of you that were along on Wednesday, I just I promised I would show you this guy and this is him done. I'll try and get him in frame. This is the reclining little dog. I'm so super happy how he came out actually. Keep it in frame. Um I had a bit of trouble blending because the paws get darker. I don't know how well that's showing up on camera. The paws get darker, the end of the tail, the muzzle and the ears are a little bit darker than the rest of the body. And I find it really hard to blend curls, to, you know, to get a blend of colours. It would be so easy if this was a solid furred animal. <laughs> it would be easy if it was long fur or if it was just solid felt, but curls are so hard to blend. But hopefully I got that right. Oh, keeping him in frame is a pig. But he did quite it did turn out quite nice. I've just got that nervous moment of going to send the pictures to the customers. Uh, Pooch Biz. Hi there. What an awesome name. Thank you so much. Um, vintage. There's something else. When the free credit is finished for listings, they offer to invite by email friend. And if that friend... Yes, um, you do get... I, I think I've, I've had that... Um, I think that's been in beta, that's been tested or something, but I've definitely had that option a few times. They let you invite invite a friend and 
you get listings for that and occasionally I'll try I always just miss I spot them I try out the listing and then when I try and share it with you guys it's already expired but um, sometimes they do give away free listings with a certain code as well um, but yeah hey, yeah guys I'm really pleased with how he turned out and for Brian G if he's lurking I hope the legs don't look too long now I think he came I think he came out quite well. Hi there, Wendy. Great to see you too. It's it's cool. You're not late. Um, we've just talked about the new Etsy Plus. So um, if I, I know you're opening your Etsy shop or you, you're just getting started with that. So you can check that out later. But really, it was just having a first look at the new Etsy Plus. But anyway, that's my little reclining dog. I had quite a lot of fun making him. So thank you all for joining me with that. And like I said, with Rosani's idea of doing the, the Boo review, doing a review of spooky things, um, which I totally will be doing, but I got distracted, like, you know, dog squirrel thing going, oh, look, pretty things. I have been being inspired by lots of other crafters. Um, I don't have a link for her just now, but I was watching Nerdy Crafter for the past few days, and she is fantastic. And she did tried to recreate someone else's work and her work's awesome but then this other person that she was trying to recreate their work I was just like I have to felt that um oh grandma Loli, hi there um so good to see you if anyone if anyone has kids or anything grandma Loli has a fantastic channel uh reading books reading safety tips for kids and everything she is awesome you really want to get over it and check her out so thank you so much for dropping by um and your sound isn't working oh no is the sound okay for everyone else that's really weird but anyway go and check her out right so as i said i watched this crafter she's awesome what did I just say? Nerdy crafter. She's fantastic. Great fun. Um, but I got so inspired when she was looking, when she was recreating this person's work. Oh, it's working now. Cool. Um, so I thought I would share this with all of you. And I am very much going to do some sculpt, going to do some needle felted sculptures out of this person's polymer, polymer clay sculptures. So let's have a look at these. So this is a plush like creatures on Instagram. There is a link in the comment below. There's there's a link in the description below. There's um, links for everything in today's that I'm talking about today. But yeah, so guys, if you want, like always, if you want, if if you want to have. Um, if, we want to have a closer up look at any of these just yell out and I will click on them I'm losing I can't read and talk at the same time I'm terrible if you want to see any any more of these because they are just so gorgeous um, and I don't do cute uh, the dragon the name is plush like cre creations yes ah, um, plush like creatures that's what she's saying there but um, I believe she's got an Etsy shop as well oh yeah the website is plus like creatures the instagram oh no yeah plus like oh but they are so adorable um yeah because let's and i don't do cute but i don't know why these so this is she's calling it a little dragon oh yeah i see it's the little little head and that's the spiky bits at the back i thought it was the kind of unicorn i thought it was like facing in this way but no that's super cute um, but I like the mixture of things like let's go with this that one's too cute um, a, a mo, mo unicorn mu, muricon <laughs> muricon mermaid unicorn like what kind of mind do you have to have to have that but it is utterly adorable but these aren't the things I'm going to make because I am not that cute no way am I that cute but I love it I've done I've worked in Paul and my clay when I was a kid but I just love the detail there it just looks so delicate and adorable and this this little guy so clever um I don't know what she's called well it's a griffin yeah of course it's a griffin Oh, glad your sound's working. 
I think he's adorable. And just a little patch on his bum. I don't know why that pleases me so much. And he's got little flowers all over him. The detail. So amazing. Like I say, I worked with Paula McClay before. It's great fun, but I just, I can't do that level of detail. I would freak out and assume that I would destroy something else while I was trying to do a fiddly bit. I suppose what I always forget about is you can you can bake the bits that you've finished with so that you can do more detail without destroying what you already had. I never I never did that when I was using clay. And yet Wendy it does get expensive. Needle felting so cheap. <laughs> Right. Obviously it's dragons I love. This kind of looks a bit oriental type dragon. Um, but yes, he's very cute. And a little... This patch seems to be like her little trademark. It's cool. Looks like I don't know if he's in a game or something because he's got some kind of a glove on him. I am so failed nerd. I don't know any of these things, but super cute. But this, oh no, well, right, I'm going to slow myself. The, the ones I love the most are coming up, but I just, this makes me laugh. A deer, but how inventive. It's just too cute. It's almost like a kind of owl-deer combination. So adorable. I might do something like that around about Christmas, but make it a bit more Christmassy. I'll think about it. It's in the thoughts. But the one that really, really caught my eye, because I love dragons, I love dark things, um, and I do love How to Train Your Dragon, the, the film. Um, so this guy just reminded me of all these things. I just love him, and I think he would felt pretty well. Um, a little bit different, obviously, but I'm really looking forward to having a go at this. I think he's quite adorable. And... I think it's kind of cool because it will it's going to force me to kind of try different methods to get different things to work. I think this should should challenge me nicely if I almost I'm planning on thinking although I'll make a wireframe and stuff for him but planning on thinking of doing it more like a clay piece so making the pieces and adding them if you know what I mean. Um but they're so adorable. I just love everything about that. The colours, the shape, the expression. Just so lovely. Um, and this guy is, of course it's a corgi. I was wondering if it was some kind of fox. It definitely looked doggy type, but of course it's a corgi. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the little way he's splatted out on the back end of him. Not entirely sure what these little tufts that his bum are, but there's his tiny tail. Very adorable. I've got so many friends who adore corgis. Again, shout out if anything catches your eye. Right. I do love... I am tempted with that. I'm not cute. But this is... <laughs> um, it kind of reminds me of the My Little Ponies we had when we were kids. Um, so I love the idea of that. And also, the back legs of an animal can be kind of tricky to do. So that does away with the need for the back legs. And that little octopus is so cute. The other thing I was wondering with doing these in fleece, I was thinking about maybe using chalks and makeup and things to get some more shading in them because they're such bright colourful colours. It might look even better with a bit of shading in that I don't normally do. So that sounds cool. Um, Pooch Biz stalks her on Instagram. <laughs> they are so cute, yeah. Lindsay loves My Little Ponies. I know, I did love them when I was a kid. I don't, I'm not so keen on the new ones. I think they're just too cutesy. Oh, this, yeah, this. I, I stopped at this several times when I've been scrolling through today. A rainbow hedgehog. That is awesome. <laughs> that is so cute. And actually, it would probably work quite well in felt as well. It might actually, that would be a good one to make a pom-pom out of. A pom-pom rainbow hedgehog. Say that's not going to be cute. That's going to be, right, right, I'm doing that. A pom-pom rainbow hedgehog. Yeah. 
Oh boy, that's going to be difficult, isn't it? No, I think I've got an idea for it. Yeah. Right, that's getting done. I don't know what that is, but I love it. Oh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter characters. Awesome. Right, I'm going to say this wrong. A Thestral, Hedwig, Niffler, and Buck Buckbeak. So cool. And also, that's given me an idea. Because when I made the Corgi Unicorn Macaroon Pom Pom, See, I don't do cute and I've already tried that. When I made that, my mum suggested that my niece might really love that because she's dog magged and she's a little girl, might all be cool. And I thought, well, I can't make just for her. I've got to make something for her little brother. So he's dinosaur mad. And I had in my head, I was like, okay, I can do a pom-pom dinosaur. I know what I want. And I was thinking of the shapes and everything I wanted, but I couldn't find a picture of what I had in my head. Because I tend to, sometimes I need to see something a little bit more to get a feel of how everything's gonna go but that that was what I was thinking in my head in different colors like blue with the kind of pink nose and stuff that is exactly what I was wanting to do as the dinosaur so there we go inspiration sorted we've got a dinosaur pom-pom coming now see that's see when you have one inspiration just things keep on coming and that is so delicate actually it's like a deer dragon trying to see what she calls it she's just calling it a dragon but I love these horns I've never seen a dragon with deer horns it's very delicate very beautiful and I can't imagine all the delicate work that goes into like these little butterflies and flowers and stuff so awesome like I say guys the link to her Instagram is in the description of this video so everybody go and stalk her because oh my I'm assuming it's a she it could well not be, but I don't I don't know them. Sailor Moon Sailor Moon Mu Muricon. <laughs> She's trying me with words as well, but that is so adorable. <laughs> the anime type hair stuff and yeah. Just try to like I'm trying not to do an entire live stream that's just me going, squee! <laughs> Bless, bless its little cotton socks. That's so cute. It's really hard to know thing, what to say apart from, oh my, that is so cute. Oh, more oriental ones. I love Japanese, Chinese type themed stuff. I've made little, I don't know how to say it, but those little tiny cute doll things that you, you get, I've made them out of felt. Um, and they were so much fun to make. But that is adorable with her little kimonos on. So sweet. Trying not to scroll too fast, but I don't know where to stop because there's so much cuteness. A galaxy snow leopard. Wow, <laughs> what kind of mind has that that can come up with stuff like that? Brilliant and adorable. I'm def I'm going to make that black dragon or my version of it, but yes, yeah, so much inspiration. So if anyone else is inspired to make any of this stuff, then yeah, share with me. That looks like a little Halloween guy. So cute. <laughs> oh, a dragon and a unicorn commission. Grandma, that sounds awesome. <laughs> uh, I really want to start doing clay again, but I don't have the time or the money to do that. Like you say, the, these will get expensive. I think they're less time consuming i'm not saying this isn't time consuming at all this is awesomely time consuming but it's less time consuming because if you think like that eyebrow takes condition clay roll clay cut a strip shape it stick it on whereas with felting 
to get that nice and secure your 15 to 20 minutes just on that tiny detail so clay is sort of slightly faster but the raw materials are much more expensive and also it's so much easier to mess up because while you're pushing that on you can ruin something at the other side or that's what I did a lot of so adorable I love the colour in this green rainbow dragon. I think just his nose and his paws have been dusted with a little sort of bronze pearlescent powder. She is a woman. <laughs> cool, thank you. I never want to assume but there was a needle felter I I was in contact with for a while and I'd I'd put up stuff with her work. I'd put up a feature of her on my blog many years ago, but her name was Jerry, and for some reason I assumed that Jerry was a male and I was calling her he and she got in touch and she was like, Thank you so much, but I'm a woman. <laughs> I was like, Oh dear. It's a chimp, hi there. Uh Magdalena, yeah, grandma Grandma Lolly does have a YouTube channel. If you want to go to her channel, if you just when you hover your your mouse over her name there should be like three dots and you just click on that and it'll take you to her channel um or i can probably in fact can i can i do this thing yep yeah, here we go here's her her channel and i will pop a link in chat so you can all go and see her because she is lovely and awesome um Right. Now have we nearly re oh see I was thinking can I leave can I leave now? Have we reached the limit of cute I can cope with? And then this. Right, I, I have to make that nearer Christmas time. Ah, so cute. I don't Pam, stop it. You don't like cute. You you're not you're not a cute person. Um <laughs> the zebra, so fun. A galaxy zebra. Brilliant. I want to make all the animals galaxy. A pastel goth deer fox. What kind of an imagination do you have for all this? <laughs> so cute. A deer fox. And then a pastel goth deer fox. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> And every one of them is adorable. Oh, here we go. I know I have to make this. Like, my entire family are elephant bonkers. Like, so, so much so. And it's the weirdest thing. Like, parts of my family that have been out of touch with each other, that didn't even know about each other, when they connected up after, like, an entire lifetime apart, they all absolutely love elephants. It, it's apparently genetic that our family love elephants, but I think that would be so cute to make. That I've been meaning to make. I made a felt elephant ages ago, but a cute felt elephant, yeah. Yeah, we, we have to do that. <laughs> Peggy, I am a cute person. I'm not a cute person. <laughs> I, 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 I think I complain too much, don't I? Sparkly purple and cyan dragon. He's very cute. Most cute. Right. Okay. I think we've done enough drooling over this poor poor person's Instagram. But as I say, the links are in the comments. The links are in the description. I keep saying the wrong thing. The links are in the description. Go stalk her. Absolutely stalk her. Everybody. Um believe she has a Etsy shop as well and other places to get hold and the website yes back to the top the website plus like creatures.com so yeah go have a look Venezuelan artist she's amazing yeah Marina right what I also want to show to you guys back to this while I was looking at all of this a friend of mine on Facebook just had posted up a sketch that she'd done. She's a fantastic artist. I've actually got she's done some work, like some t-shirts and things, and I've got a t-shirt with her work on it, which is awesome. Um, but she was just doing a doodle, finished it off, posted it on Facebook, and I hadn't even finished a glance at this, and I was like, 
I have to felt that. I absolutely have to felt that. That was just like straight into my head. No, nope, that's been a felt sculpture. So I contacted her immediately. Um, bonkers about Alice is dropping son off at home, then coming back. Cool. Well, see, catch you when you catch you when you get back. Hopefully, we'll still be here. So Emma had done this drawing. I messaged her immediately. I was like, can I needle felt this? She's also a really awesome needle felter, but she hasn't been able to do it for a while because the dogs keep eating her work. And if anyone has pets, this was a problem I had to start with in that Mia did destroy a few of my sculptures. Um, and what... How I fixed this, because me is so contrary with everything, I thought, well, she loves these, so what I'll do, I'll make her a ball. I re read online everywhere it said it's perfectly safe to have a wool toy for your pets. That's fine. So I made this great ball, lots of natural colours in it. It was great fun. It was great. I gave it to her thinking, this is cool. She'll have fun with this. She kind of sniffed at it, nosed it about for a second, and then, since then, she has never touched any fleece, any felt. I can have wool lying around everywhere. She doesn't touch any of it. So, yeah, so at the minute, Emma can't do any felting because she can't find places safe from her dogs to keep everything. But I messaged her and I says, please, 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 can I make this dog? Is it okay if I needle felt this dog? And she's like, absolutely delighted, which, so good of her. So, have I hyped this up enough? Because it is so good. And there's a link below because her Facebook post for this is public worldwide, so you can check it out as well. But how amazingly cute is that? And also, how much of an awesome challenge is this going to be for a needle felt? Because I was thinking... Um, so basically, I was thinking of trying these these strap-on extra bits. I'm thinking I'm going to try and paper pull them to to get them hard and add these on separately and then paint them. I've already ordered some metallic type paint, so I want to paint these in. I'm trying to decide whether to make the leg all in one and then harden, felt that bit as is, and then harden it and then paint it, or make a short leg and then make the prosthetic um, but I'm going to try and paper pull these I've been trying to be really frugal with my paper pole I'm using it all the time right I thought I've probably had it about a year and I thought at the time this is quite expensive I've got to be careful with it I'm just going to pop to my face again so this is sitting here with me all the time all my sculptures I'm gluing in eyes everything I need with it and the light I was seeing coming through here and I thought to see where the level of the of the glue is and I was blown away. I've had this for a year, right? Now, I know you guys probably won't be able to see it because it's the light from the computer, but the level of the paper pole is there. I've had this for a year and that's all I've used. So I've not got to be so scared about using it. It's lasting. Um, Lindsay, maybe Swax. I don't have Swax and I'm in the UK so I wasn't really wanting to order stuff and deal with all the, the import taxes. But the other thing as well, I was really happy with how the paper pole worked and I wanted it really hard. I know Swax hardens it but it's a kind of wax and I wanted like really crispy. <laughs> if, um, if I could find a Swax equivalent in the UK but I just really don't want to order stuff just now because Serafina stuff is awesome but I don't have enough spare money to go in and order the amount that I would order and then get hit by huge sales tax basically but I just thought in my head if I can try I'll make these bits and then harden them paper pole we'll see if it doesn't work then I'll try other things but that's the idea Um, paint them in with this um metallic paints that I've got coming. I've already been ordering bronze jump rings and thinking have I got leather stuff to make a harness and everything. Super excited about what all the the details I can do with this because I just think it's such a cool dog, a kind of steampunk Great Dane. So, And if any of you guys are actually interested in this, 
I'm sure Emma won't mind me mentioning. She's doing a super limited edition print run of this of this dog. So the link the link to this post is in the in the description of this video. So if you were actually interested in this, you could you could contact her. But anyway, just looking at all all the ways to do the dog again. I'm looking forward to sort of try in the highlights and shadows and everything to make this look a little bit more metallic because I love the idea of making something look metallic that's actually wool. So th this just sounds like such a fun challenge. Um, going to be quite a project but a really cool one and I think even just the picture the size it is and everything it's going to be so much fun to make. Yeah so that is some of my inspiration, my felt inspiration my felt inspiration for the week. <laughs> so, if any of you guys have find anything across the internet that is that kind of level of quirky, cutie, slightly gothy, steampunk, a little bit Halloweeny, if you see anything that I might love, drop us a <laughs> drop us a link to it, and that might that might hit our felt inspiration. <laughs> Um, review and also especially the Halloweeny stuff we'll be doing the boo review looking at spooky creepy cutie fun things from across the internet doesn't just have to be Facebook or Instagram or anywhere you find anything so there we go that's that's those reviews right I do have written down the things I meant to do ah, of course Right, the makers. For those of you that haven't seen yet, I've been putting it out on Facebook, but a week on Wednesday we've got an exciting event coming along, and that is I want to do a felt along. I think this was Wendy's idea to do a felt along with everybody, and I reached out to the makers because I've loved working with them in the past, and they had some tutorials that I, I have not really tried a tutorial before, so what I wanted to do was follow a tutorial live that you guys could all follow along as well. So I asked them if that was okay. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to be showing you guys every step. So if you want to felt along with me, then you're going to need to purchase the tutorial off them. It's just a downloader. It's just a couple of quid. I think it's three pounds, three pounds fifty. Um, or you can just watch me make a mess of following my first ever actual tutorial. Um, but it's an awesome, an awesome kit. I have in the links below. I've got the link to the event on Facebook. I just wanted the event there. That's something that people can. It's going to be on YouTube. But I wanted the event as a placeholder so we remember it. And also the plan is, if you guys are felting along with me, if anyone's felting along with me, then when we've finished, you could. it would be awesome if you would take a snap, like on your camera or something, on your phone, and quickly upload it onto that event. And then we'll be able to share with everybody what everybody's made. Um, I'll just show you the picture. This is, this is the event we've got going. Um, and it's to make this fox kit, which just looks so awesome. Uh, where's the description of this? Yeah, so if you go to this event, we've got the kits. We've got, um, it's all from the makers.co.uk. So shipping, if you're, I don't know what shipping's like to the rest of the world, but there's the link to the PDF, which will be worldwide, and you get it instantly. Uh, the girls asked me to say, that occasionally people have said that sometimes the PDFs being sent to people's spam box in their inbox. So if you order it, make sure and check that. But everything was seamless with me. It was flawless. Um, and also, right, I kind of, we've had this sitting here. Back to my full physic. And this is a week on Wednesday. I've given you all time to decide what you're getting and sort out sort out what the supplies you need. Now this is not the kit that you would be getting. The girls were just awesome and sent to me just the supplies. I didn't ask them for this. They were just really cool. But the kit is actually a fox and a badger. But they sent me materials for two foxes. So I just want to show you if you're going to felt along with me. And I know a lot of us have loads and loads of fibres and everything. So I just want to show you what's in the kit so you can see if you already have it. 
and just get the PDF or if you're going to need need the kit. So I've only peeked in here. I haven't even actually been in properly. So this is like an unboxing. I've got two two sets because just in case they thought I might want to practice, but I want to make a fool of myself live. So let's see what's in here. Right. Am I am I the only one who sniffs wool? That's really subtle, not madly woolly smell. So what you're gonna need is a couple of pipe cleaners. These are fairly firm pipe cleaners. They call this white one a really strong pipe cleaner, regular size, and then two black pipe cleaners. And they're the nice densely packed ones rather than the dead fluffy ones that like proper pipe cleaners that you'd clean a pipe with, but the good length ones, what is that? I think that's about uh, 28 centimeters roughly. And we've also got some fox red bats, a little bit of white and a little bit of black. So that's all the colors you need. And I'm going to leave the red out. There's a good reason for this. So that's the colors you need. And also a couple of eyes. Now you can felt eyes, but the kit comes with, can you see them? don't know if you can see them, but they're really super tiny. I'm not sure if they're glass or plastic um, eyes. They're about one or two millimeters, really, really, really tiny eyes, but you can also just felt in with black. So that's, that's cool too. So either get yourself a kit or get the, get the PDF. So Magdalena hopes to be home to felt along. That would be so cool if you, if you could. Right. Now, some people were talking about if, you know, if they didn't have, see if I can find everything, if they didn't have the exact colours for a fox red. So we just wanted to blend with my fibres to see if we could get a fox red. Now, I have a ton of reds about, but just wanted to try and emulate this colour. I'm trying to keep it in frame. Um, so I want you guys help with this. So you've seen this color. We know what a fox red is. I've got some kind of standard colors that are, that probably what you'll find is quite a lot of needle filters or have colors like this. You've bought things. I mean, I've got so many rubbish colors like these, the bright colors I hardly use. It was cheap kits. It's horrible quality wool. But I want to see if we can together between us blend a fox red out of these colors. So I'll show you what I've got and you guys tell me what colors first of all you think I should put into this fox red and we'll see. So obviously, so just shout, shout out the colors as you see them pass. So we've got a bit of white, a bit of, this is like a chocolate brown, this, this color I hate. This is the color that every time I try and get a Labrador type dog color, I get boxes of this stuff. Everyone seems to send this color and think it's Labrador. I don't think it turns up quite so offensive on camera, but it's a sort of gold color. I have a fairly bright yellow color. Uh, little bit of red, bright, bright red, little bit of this kind of ruby color, uh, two different shades of orange, a kind of red orange and a orange orange, sort of mustard color, oh yeah that shows up right on camera, and a black. Okay, pooch, pooch biz, the brown might work. So we'll start with the brown. So I'm gonna lay this onto my, my car dirt, my dog brush. Um, so yeah, I think this would be a good base color. So we're gonna, all I do is let it catch on the bottom. So I'm not trying to load onto the brush almost, you're just loading onto the edge. So I'm gonna do a couple 
runs over with this brown, so the brush, brush is the most loaded. All right, what else are we saying? Uh, white, chocolate brown, the gold and a bit of red, brown, red and deeper orange, um, brown, red and darker orange. Yep, so everyone's saying the darker orange, so we'll put a bit of the darker orange in it. Yeah, this, um, the first one was tops, and this is a carded bats with a very short staple length, so I don't know how well this is going to work. So we're putting in and a bit of that darker orange. So is that enough guys or do we want some more? It's a bit bit more orangey than you see on the screen. It actually looks almost fox color now. Um, what are we saying? Oh, red, everyone's saying a bit of the red. So we'll pop in a bit of the red. This is also this horrible um, carded bats, but in a really, what other colors? The gold, 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 there's the gold, bit of gold. Won't put too much of that in. Um, brown, red, deeper orange, gold. Okay, so I think that's everything you've asked for so far, guys. So is that enough colours? Do we want to add more colours? Should we finish it with a, a little more brown on top? Or do you want any more, any more colours before I blend? Let me know what we think. And bearing in mind, this, this is the colour we're aiming for, which is a bit difficult because I'm not sure how good a color match my my camera is just now but do we blend or do we add more colors and how much time should I give you I'll give you five seconds oh oh okay. <laughs> grandma thank you sent pictures in order the dragon fantastic I'm looking forward to that awesome right anyway so I'm gonna give you five seconds is the red the kinky type <laughs> <laughs> Kinky red. <laughs> right, five, four. If I don't get any more colours, I'm going to blend. Three, two, one. Let's blend this. <laughs> I've never blended live. I don't know if this is going to work. After blending, it's possible to... Yes, um, yes, absolutely. We can add more colours after blending, um, which is the way I do it. I'll tend to blend a bit and then go, oh, no, that's terrible, and then try some more. Right, so I'm just going to just pass it backwards and forwards on the brushes. I'm not, firstly, I'm not an expert at this. I don't, I just talk myself and these are just dog brushes, not carders. So yeah, this, this short, these short fibres are taking a bit more, I'm going to have to be a lot more careful. So what you do to actually blend, you just literally just, getting this brush in and just catching the wispy ends and then you kind of work your way up when it's not catching anymore you work up to the next bit I bet you this is is it oh kinky kinky as in curly um it's not curly like locks but I don't really know if if the camera can pick up just how absolutely horrible that stuff is it's like such a short staple length that it's ridiculously horrible to work with. I think I got it in like um, Hobbycraft or something and it was, well, it wasn't a super cheap pack. It, you know, they were expensive enough packs, but it's super cheap wool. It's not pleasant at all. Um, we're getting better. But yeah, this isn't going to be an easy blend. So hopefully we're not here for too long. But yeah, pooch, pooch biz, if you're blending colours for anything, um, it's spinners that do this the most. Um, That's where I learnt from people who are making wool for spinning to make proper clothes. And you can do this, you get massive ha hand carders or these great drum things, these machines, and you put everything in and it does it for you, but I'm not... I'm not doing that much that I need to be blending massive amounts. As you've seen, my sculptures are all pretty small. So on a card, on dog brushes like this, I can usually card quite well. I have a feeling this is not going to be my best 
bats I've created ever. But let's right, let's take it off just now and see what we think the colour's doing. That is an awesome kind of flame colour. I don't know if we'll call it fox yet. It oh, the camera's picking. It actually looks more blended in real life, is that? But what what do you guys think we need to add more to that? My lighting's terrible. Um, I definitely need to run it over one more time. So I'll put it back on the brush. That's another thing you can do if it's not blending greatly. You can take it off. You blend it a few times, take it off, and then put it back on and just putting it back on by hand can kind of blend it up just that wee bit more. Wendy would do anything for a drum card. Oh, I know the feeling. Absolutely. So any crafty like DIY people want to make one of these things, I've looked at it and think, yeah, that can't be that difficult, but I'm not handy. Uh, more brown and red, Lindsay thinks. Right, cool. I think you might be right. It's not actually looking too bad. Looks like it needs more red and dark orange. Okay, where did I put the brown? Okay, we might not be able to add more, more brown. Oh, there's a little bit. There it is. There it is, right. So more brown. It's You guys are right. It's not bad for a first guess and obviously it'll take longer to blend but there we go a bit more brown what did we say a bit more red and a bit more orange so kind of all the colors <laughs> no so a little more red but I think yeah I think this orange is really a good color Wendy can't work with wood no I don't think I can right so there's some brown red and orange more in there the dark orange and everything started to stick to my brush so I'm going to see if I can make this work. So I used to, years ago before I looked into all this, um, the first book I got, The Felt Dogs, it said if you wanted different colours, because obviously the dogs look nicer with more variation in their coats, you could just blend the fibres by hand and that just means, like I'll just show you on a tiny bit, so it just means taking taking the fibres pulling them across and restacking, pulling them across and restacking. And I used to do that forever. And forever is a great word for it. It takes forever and the end result is terrible. Now, I know this is looking fairly patchy because I've picked some terrible colours, terrible fleeces. Those, um, the red and the yellow is terrible. But that's because I don't have them as nice, nice tops because I don't, I don't need them as long hair, um, but basically I've got a metric ton of, of tops that's in beautiful fox reds, different shades of, but I wanted to show, because some people were asking, could they just use their own colours to blend up a fox red? And yes, very much so, but just make sure it's nice fibres. It's much easier to do with a fairly long staple length of tops or roving or whatever it's called in your place. It's quite easy to blend that stuff, but this shorter fiber stuff just makes everything a little bit patchy, but it's not it's not going too horrific. It's just meaning with the roving, I'm just literally just brushing it. You know, there's no force, but with this kinky stuff, <laughs> with this kinky red, I'm having to do it wrong, which is kind of go right over and put a bit of force to kind of brush it out and then to lift it more from one brush to the other once there's less on the end you just kind of put the tip in and lift off and then put the lift off and that lifts over to the next brush and it's a kind of it's a curve of emotion like I say much easier with just tops than this horrible roving horrible cheap roving but we're getting there. I think this is starting to look pretty good. I have never carded live. 
I did do a video on it once ages ago, but that took quite a few cuts to get to work because I was a bit nervous about it. Um, okay, I think the blend, and you have to take it off the brush, actually try and get it all on. You just put the brushes together and roll down, down, down. And if it wasn't such horrible stuff, it almost kind of rolls off like a, a roll egg, they call it for spinning. Now, girls, ladies, I don't think you've done too bad. That was a pretty good choice. Let's. It's slightly more brown. It's got some nice variations in it, actually. It, like I say, the camera's picking up worse than in real life. It's. I think we've done not bad. Oh, that was the video that you found me, Wendy. Awesome. Um, I think. Actually, it's never going to be identical, but I think there's something cool with that. If I blended it a bit more, I think we've got quite a good fox colour because having slight variations in colour make it look real. So, now, I'm sorry, makers. Like, I love, I've, all the fibres I've used are yours I love, and this is a gorgeous colour. So, if you don't have the colours to make your own fox bats, then absolutely buy their kit. If you do have all the colours though, um, then perhaps you can make your own. Or if you just have, if you just have tops in the right colour, which I do have loads of over. I'm looking over there because I have a wool hanger. It's like a shoe store, a shoe store thing that's held over the, the door and it's stuffed full of wool. So that's where I keep most of my, my wool. So um, I do have loads. But it's all in roving and this tutorials you want bats for this tutorial so you can create them just by carding like what I've done and you get you get a carded bats so that's where the name comes from so yeah ladies I think I think we did pretty awesome we've made the color <laughs> so so there you go if you have some browns, some reds and some oranges you can blend in and I think most people will have those kind of colours so you can blend in and make your own fox red. Right, we're nearly done. As, as I say, oh, putting that out of the way just now, as I say so much to get through just now which I'm totally hyped about having a live stream that I had so many ideas so thank you guys so much for being with me through all of this I just for a laugh wanted to show you what I've been doing again link in the description I've been playing around with oh well, for some reason the remote control stop, stopped working on my phone I'll have to do this manually but I've been playing around with my merch store merch merch um just for fun so if anyone's interested at the minute um i think it's mainly european but i can make a make an american <laughs> version as well but this is just just for a bunch of fun but here's some of the merch i've been making so as you've seen i think in my cat video we talked about the felt like stabbing things that was just an idea that came into my head um but also, I just thought for a mug, this was kind of cool. Careful, I'm feeling stabby today. This is what I mentioned when I was drinking my coffee cup, the, the big 3-0. I'm not 30 anymore. That that mug's quite old now. I'm not going to tell you how, how old it is. Um, so I might replace my mug with this mug. So we've got the tea spring mugs. I'm trying to make them as cheap as I can. I don't know if that's a good price or not, but I'm not wanting to take a whole load of profit from any of these things so I'm putting it right down to the base price it's letting me um, but not not only the mug this this is funny right I think it's funny I don't think anybody's ever gonna buy this but it just made me laugh so much when I did the felt like stabbing um, t-shirt in the first place Daniel from extreme food reviews remember and check him out that guys but Daniel had been coming up with more inappropriate catchphrases that I could have and one of them that made me laugh so much I was like I can't do that I can't do that I can't do that <laughs> I've put it on the back of the t-shirt right <laughs> sorry guys but I just thought it was hilarious if we can read this um <laughs> Pam Duffy felt me up <laughs> sorry um yeah and on on the bum of your t-shirt as well 
that just made me giggle too much. I think it's completely inappropriate. Um, so I just thought I thought that was so cute. Um, but yeah, there's a few few t-shirts. Oh, Wendy, uh, you don't say that. And I think I went with Teespring, and I was picking the picking these because I think they had a good range of sizes. Oh, I can't have a look. They definitely seem to have a good range of sizes because I I totally I totally agree that sometimes it's really hard. Um, so they had these beautiful skinny women's tees, and I was like, no, nope, 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 nope. I I sit around all day stabbing stuff. I'm not beautifully skinny. Um, <laughs> so we've got the kind of more unisex in in a range of sizes. But I'm thinking of ordering myself one of my mugs. So, but if you have any ideas for things you would like to see you would like added to to this um but the range is so awesome i'm on teespring so i can sort of make it in all sorts of different things as well um these are stickers which are kind of cool as well um i don't really use stickers but little stickers i can make them all in colors um yeah so in the careful i'm feeling stabby is a sticker a t-shirt or a mug and so that's like one line this is so weird but guys as well not sponsored by this at all obviously but if you're looking to make t-shirts and things this teespring is super easy to use um i think it's an american company but it lets you sort out runs um so these are in the uk these will be printed up in europe um or america um yeah so the felt like stabbing is in a t-shirt a mug i think that's so cute actually and a sticker as well but there's so much other things <laughs> wendy i'm not entirely sure i can read that out but that sounds cool yeah so that's actually um i'm super i'm super happy that you guys are accept accepting of the inappropriateness um because things just make me chuckle but then you're like oh is that gonna offend people and then I remembered that no you lot you lot are awesome it's see when I started all this and I was like trying to keep my my creepy Halloweeny love um slightly gothic twist and slightly twisted mind out of it and you guys are all worse than me so that's that's absolutely awesome thank you <laughs> but yeah if you have any ideas I can add them to the range because they're not printed until anyone orders them so we can do anything we want we can have fun with this and just just make up lines um yeah so <laughs> so that's that right so guys I think oh yeah last last thing before nearly done so if you've got any questions and stuff just throw them in but I just wanted to to put in um just wanted to talk about the changes that I'm planning on making on this channel again this sounds weird this sounds like some of these great big youtubers that are talking about these things but I do think I have to make some changes and I'm quite excited about them this whole and Wendy thank you so much for the idea of the felt along so we've got the felt along happening a week on Wednesday but what I think, to be perfectly honest, I'm going to carry on with my Monday Eatsy tips because I love doing them. Um, they do seem to be helping some people. They're helping me. I love them. They're not, I won't say they're easy to make. I'm learning a lot about editing. But I think I've overdone my needle felting doing a Wednesday and Thursday. If I'm totally honest, I don't think the quality's been as good as I've wanted it to be. So what I'm going to try and do is less better videos, if that makes sense. So I'm looking at even making sure I'm in frame, but trying to make the videos better. So how it's going to work out just now, this Wednesday, fingers crossed, I've got a video that I'm three quarters of the way through. I'll tell, I'll tell you guys because it's not a secret, um, I'm doing zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas, because Jack looked so lonely, so I'm making him his little dog, had to do that, so I'm going to make make that, have that video, hopefully a little bit better production, I'm, I'm using multiple camera angles, 
so you can actually see what we're doing and trying to stay in frame. So making a zero. And then the following Wednesday, we've got the felt along. So roughly, I'm thinking, if you guys like this idea, I'm thinking that we might do one week, we do a felt along, you know, we do it like live. And then the following week, I'll have a good needle felting video like doing the dragons and we've got the steampunk dog and everything but where I can really take the time so like where I'm talking about the ideas for the ears and stuff rather than going oh I need a video out by tomorrow I can I can try all the different things go oh no that ear didn't work I'll try something else so we've got the full video instead of like what I did with Jack where I had to do like one wee bit at a time so you've got the full video you've got the full making of but with all the detailed bits because I can spend a couple of days on each section I hope that makes sense that's my plan so possibly we'll be having less needle felting videos but better needle felting videos and also the live felting which sounds so cool and Wendy I totally haven't forgotten your offer for we'll say here, for us felting together. I just, I'm learning about the software to be able to do that, first of all, but I'm super excited about it. Uh, Wendy's excited about zero. Me too. He's, so far, I've kind of figured out how to do the frame. I'm not worried about the head. What I'm thinking of is his ears, because they're like strips of fabric. Um, so I'm just thinking about how I'm going to make them. I might try a couple of different methods. Um, but yeah, so looking forward to it. I'm excited to see how he turns out. But so far, Jack's Jack's happy with him. So that's that's my plans for the future of this channel, for where we want to go. Um, but yeah, um, I think that's as about ready to wrap it up, unless anyone has any questions. But guys, thank you so much for joining me. This has been a blast. I had so much stuff I wanted to talk about, and we've got through it all. So much more. It's amazing. I don't know if the rest of you get like that. Like when you're crafting, sometimes you can get in a rut and it's like head down, you're just plowing away, just doing it. And then sometimes it's just like inspiration, inspiration. And I just feel that just now I'm kind of buzzing like, I want to get out and make stuff. I want to do this. It's so awesome. So I'm looking forward to what's coming up. Um, yeah, but guys thank you so much for joining me don't forget to pop into Pam Duffy's Felting Friends on Facebook and everybody have a fantastic day thank you so much